All right, let's get to it. So I've been working on this thing and it's coming together a little bit better. Here's the uh, thing here. And so I've added uh, these trails to the cursor. I want add an option to enable or disable them um, because they could get annoying to some people, I think. But uh, they only generate if your mouse is going at a certain rate of speed because otherwise it kind of is bad for optimization. Anyway, and then I uh, made this a little bit nicer. There's, these are the, this is like GeoCities, this whole thing. Where in this game you play as kind of a moderator and uh, you, um, similar to a moderator of an internet forum. And uh, Hypnospace is simil similar to like a GeoCities mixed with a, with a message board or with a Twitter or something like that. Get back over there. Anyway, um, so I added this generative music and the more you click and move your cursor, the more it triggers music. And if you stop doing stuff, it will stop playing music. Um, so yeah, these are the little sections. These aren't all of them. Later on, you can, uh, there will be more like hackery ones, underground internet ones that you can access. But these are the sections that you start the game being able to explore. And, and each of these zones has different users who have different websites. Um, so all I have are temporary websites in them now. So if you click the uh, one of the categories, Hypnospace Central is just like help documentation and bots and stuff. But anyway, if you if you click it, uh, you can see my temporary little titles here. Um, you see these cars here, and these cars are what the user looks like on the Hypnospace Highway. And uh, of course, these are just temporary colors, but they'll have their own color schemes. But um, if you click on the uh, web on their name, like let's go to this bots page. Um, yeah, I just, this is all temporary stuff. Uh, so some of these pages have looping music that auto plays, but there's an option to not auto play it. But by default, it auto plays because the internet's annoying like that, especially in the GeoCities era. So this is an example of like a page. It has no content. Um, this guy, he's like the little helper guy. He'll read you know, stuff. Space is awesome, but, but it can, can only, only stay with your help. Do us a solid, solid and obey these cool rules. rules. So basically, what you do in this game is um. And, and there's links, like these little buttons are links. So. Okay. Um, it'll, it links to Goth Fairy's domain or whatever. Um, so yeah, so basically what you do in this game is you, each of these areas has their own little, little ticks to them. In their own little stories, like these guys, the Dragon Roost Cogland spaceport people are angry about all being shoved into one zone. It's the fantasy sci-fi and like steampunk and all these other fandoms. Uh, and because Hypnospace is a little embarrassed of them, and so they all go into one or or uh, put into one zone. So you're a moderator, and and your job is to find people breaking the law. And then you go on the highway, which is here. And so here's each of the zones. Like, uh, 
Dragon Roost Cogland. And, um, so you can, like, warp to, uh, oh, and there's settings. Anyway, you can warp to one of these zones, and it actually is a real highway, so I'll show you that part of it. And this part is the least developed, still working on it. So each of these cars is one of the people on the websites there. And so you'll be able to, um, this is all temporary backgrounds and stuff. Oh, I blew them up. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see here. Uh, but you'll, you'll be able to put a siren on and sometimes they'll be hostile. So you have to like dodge attacks and stuff. And, um, but you don't kill them if you blow up a guy. Uh, that just kicks them off and they'll reconnect, you know, shortly. And you can change direction too. Uh, but yeah. I like the little animation for changing direction. And so it's kind of an endless runner because you'll just keep going forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And um, yeah, so there'll be, the way you leave this is there'll be little warp zones uh down here and when you're when you're over them you hold down a button and then you'll start hovering and then you'll go uh to us to that warp screen again and you can pick a different area to to go to um but that's basically what the game loop will be like uh you go to this outlaw database and there will be an alert that's like Someone is using Bitcoin, but it's the fake Bitcoin to do a transaction, and that's illegal in Hypnospace. So you find, so you go to the browser and you can search. Uh, Kappa coin is the co is the illegal currency, and um. You can search and then find pages that have that in there, or I might take away the search because it makes it a little too easy, I think. Um, yeah, here's... Yolo one. Part but duty part part. Part but duty part part. Part but duty part part. I am dumb. I see you. I am dumb four. I am dumb 555. Part, but really part, part. Anyway, um, but yeah, so basically you, you, you kind of, you start off as a petty kind of enforcer person. So people who are doing really minor things, you just find them and apprehend them. Uh, and then, um, you can kind of lasso the cars and then, uh, it, the, you, as you find more outlaws and apprehend more people violating the rules of the internet which a lot of the rules are going to be really dumb it's just like an internet forum where certain things become unpopular like using a certain meme or catchphrase and then you can get nab them for that reason but uh, as things progress you start apprehending hackers and then they'll give you viruses so for example oh and you can change your desktop background of course this vapor wavy crap here so, for example, here's a, is this it? Oh, no, this. So, this, here's what happens if you get a virus, like, really bad. Your screen starts getting all funky and you can't do anything. Ah! So, this is a really bad virus. There's different severity. And the music gets all funky. So, if you go into here... When the music's all weird. So it gets all weird. And then, uh, if I, ta-da, it's normal again. So yeah, you can, um, So all that music is sequenced as well, um, uh, with a sequencer I made. 
so it can there's a lot of cool dynamic stuff that can happen with the music too like it can slow down or like it's a, it's it's actually read from a text file for the game though to play anyway i'm gonna read the uh comments now here oh my god i got her Uh, fart butthole, Miggy. I'm glad you guys are like. I'm thinking of kickstarting it if a published a publisher doesn't want to do it. Oh, so yeah. So I think for a vi for vi getting rid of viruses, I'm gonna make it. Uh, here, I'll just play it. Um, I don't have the store implemented yet, but there will be a virus protection that you can get and it'll there'll be like annoying norton antivirus knockoff that you can also get um i also want to have there be like toolbars and adware and pop-ups and all that kind of fun stuff because it's kind of celebrating the early sort of untamed internet back in the day so yeah so this is i'll go through each of these this is Help documentate. Oh, my dad's calling. All right, guys. I I gotta Skype my old pops. So I will talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed watching that. Uh, yeah, I'll stay in the 